Welcome, foolish mortals, to another short collection video. As you can see, this video is going to be about the Hasbro Nightmare Before Christmas figures from uh, 1993. So, these figures are packaged very weirdly. They're not in normal bubbles, um, which kind of makes them hard to... They don't stack well at all. But... They did do most of the major characters. Uh, this is the mayor. Of course, he has a head that turns around so that you can have his bad side or his good side out. Each figure comes with a stand because of their small feet and stuff. They just really don't stand up very well. And he comes with his megaphone. Each card has a little uh, profile on the back. It's a toothpaste politician. The mayor has a look for every occasion. Here's uh, the complete set. I do have all of them, but at the moment, uh, the Werewolf, Santa, and Lock, Shock, and Barrel, and Oogie Boogie are in a completely different box somewhere. So, you'll have to wait for those in the large uh, room uh, overview. This is the Bohemoth. Um, he has, it, when you move the axe in his head, his eyes move. And he has a small axe he can carry around with him. And, of course, he's also got a, um, a stand. This is Sally, uh, Jack's um, love, even though he doesn't really know it until halfway through the movie. Uh, she loves to sew, especially herself. Sally can rip off her own arms and legs and then stitch them back on. A useful trick when trying to escape the evil scientist who created her. Oh, behemoth, I forgot to show you his thing. Despite his appalling appearance, Bohemoth is actually a good-natured guy. He gets along well with just about everybody and is known for his great strength. The only problem is he complains constantly about having a splitting headache. Bah. <clears throat> this is uh, Santa. Uh, Jack as Santa. So he comes with a package, and his hat, and his beard, and a stand. Jack's dreaming of a ghoulish Christmas, complete with himself playing the lead role of Santa. He means well, but unfortunately his look is all wrong. Poor Jack, he just doesn't have the knack for making spirits jolly and bright no matter how hard he tries. Um, oh. <clears throat> Next is the evil scientist, whose actual name is not evil scientist. Uh, but <laughs> I've completely knocked it out of my own memory. That's funny. Uh, Dr. Finkelstein. He has a, uh, his brain case opens up. Now in the movie, he's always in a uh, wheelchair. But as you can see, these really don't have very much movement. Uh, they basically don't even have five points. They're basically like three. Their head moves and their arms move for the most part. Um, Dr. Finkelstein, also known as, uh, the evil scientist, also known as Dr. Finkelstein, is the guy who brought Sally to life. He's very smart, and when he needs some extra help thinking, he just pops his skull and tickles his brain. And then last up is the king of Halloween himself, Jack Skellington. Jack comes with a pumpkin that can snap around his head, and he comes, of course, with a stand. Jack basically runs the show in Horror Hollow. Each year, he leads the residents of Halloween Town in terrifying the Halloween festivities, a job he has earned him the name the pumpkin king i should learn how to read sometime so those are the figures they're all pretty large actually um i've got a ton of other stuff for nightmare but this is just about the hasbro things another item is this pretty big it's uh, at least 12 if not 14 inch talking jack skellington with zero 
his head removes. And he has different sayings. Of course, the batteries have been dead for a long time. Jack enjoys spooking people from his scary screams with his ghostly dog, Zero, hovering by his side. Zero, with a see-through body, may look scary, but his boo is worse than his bite. So there were actually five large things. I do have um, the Santa and the Jack and Zero, and I have Oogie here in a second, but I never got to pick up the Sally, so I'm, I'm kind of sad about that. But... Here is the big man himself. Oogie Boogie. Oogie Boogie is the uh, basically the boogeyman. And he's full of bugs. In fact, his clothes, you can see, have little bugs on them. And it actually glows in the dark. And then you can open him up. And he's got bugs inside him. The meanest monster in Halloween Town, Oogie Boogie, is a wigg wiggling bag of creepy crawly bugs hiding inside. And if you think he's scary in the daylight, don't even think about turning off the lights. His bugs glow in the dark. Uh, oh man, I don't know what I did with that. Oh well, I thought I had my black light around. I could show you what he looks like in the in the dark, but so. That's about it for uh, for this collection video. So I really enjoyed these. This is my one of my favorite movies of all time. So it'll be good to get these back up on the wall where they belong. And I'll have to gather a whole bunch of other stuff uh, like the Diamond Collect ones uh, for you all to check out. Till then, catch you on the flip side.